To pray, we should continuously pray for Bola Ahmed Tunubu to be healthy, for good health, for sound health, for sound mind, for protection. Because if that man dies on the seat of, I want to get national prophecies. Anytime God wants to speak to me, concerning my nation or any other country in the world, he, he sends me to the mountain. So I went to the mountain and, and uh, to ask God, what is your plan for Nigerians? And the Lord said to me, go back and tell my people that they should not be afraid. No one should be, should be frightened. No one should be, should be thinking maybe, no, 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 Nigeria has gone. Because a lot of people now are not thinking, since this man assumed office, Nigeria is going to turn upside down. God said no. That there is a reason why he brought him uh, uh, as a president. David was alive when God made Saul a king. God has a reason why he has, uh, he has brought Bola Ahmed Tunubu to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Lord told, told me to speak to the body of Christ, to speak to, to the church. To speak to the church, uh, this is the only medium I can use to communicate. The Lord said we should speak, I should speak to the church that every pastor, every believer should join hand together to pray for President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. God said we should pray for him to be alive until the next election. If that man dies on the seat of the presidency, the hope of Christianity in Nigeria is gone. Because there is an agenda to close down the church permanently in Nigeria. The only hope that the Christian have, as far as Nigeria is concerned now, is President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. If, and if that man dies, if that man dies on that seat, and someone else takes over, forget Christianity in Nigeria. This is the agenda of Satan. The Lord said I should go, my servant, go and tell my people, if you think my revelation is false, you are a pastor, you are a believer, whatever you believe, go and find out, ask. Lord, this thing this man is saying, is it, is it from you? I will never tell you to say the Lord where God has not spoken. That is why you can never see my prophecy not come to pass. Because I take my time to hear from God. The Lord said, tell the body of Christ, tell the church to pray. We should continuously pray for Bola Ahmed Tunubu to be healthy, for good health, for sound health, for sound mind, for protection. Because if that man dies on the seat of the presidency, if he dies there, the hope of Christian in Nigeria is gone for life. Because I saw a lot of churches that were on fire. Fire here, boom, boom, everywhere. Churches were just raised down. Mega churches. Mega churches in Nigeria were brought down. Some were turned to what, what I cannot explain. When I, I was so frightened when I saw this revelation on the mountain. And the Lord said, my servant, the holy hope that the Christian have now is Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Let the Christian pray for him to be alive until the next election. The next election, a David is coming to take Nigeria to another realm. But the regime of Bola Ahmed Tunubu is going to favor every single Nigeria. The Lord said we should cooperate with him and work with him. This is how I speak. People who said I'm a fake prophet. You will see say I'm a fake prophet, you will see everything I'm telling you. Then secondly, to the eastern part of Nigeria, I saw... I saw in a conference hall where some top leaders from the East, including Mazdan de Kalu, with the president and some other top uh, men in, in Nigeria, discussing. There was a dialogue I saw between the federal government and the, the top leaders in, a, in, in from the East, from the East. And I and I saw at the process of this discussion there was an, an argument. And this argument came from one of the governors in the East. I will not mention his name for security reasons. Came from one of the governors in the East. And the meeting was not concluded. And the Lord said to me, go back and tell the East. Tell all the decision makers in the eastern part of Nigeria to come together and fight for the release of Mazunam Dikalo. If he dies, the hope of the East in Nigeria is gone for life. If you think I am joking, wait, you will see it. I saw the president releasing him. They are going to release, the, the new president is going to release Mazdan Dikalo. But this dialogue that I saw, a dialogue that I saw, 
it was still an Easterner who scattered the meeting. This is what I saw. I am only speaking as a prophet. I don't know anybody. I'm only speaking as a prophet. Please, Nigeria, let's cooperate with the president. Why the Easterner should cooperate with Maznam de Kalu? Let everyone cooperate with the new president. Christians should wake up and pray because the only hope the Christian in Nigeria have now is President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. At the same time, I also want the Christian to also appreciate this man of God they call Prophet Godwin Ikoro. Prophet, God, Prophet Godwin Ikoro has, 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 has proven beyond reasonable doubt that God is God. But for what God has used him to do, the Christian body, the PFF, should recognize this man. He's a good man and uh, he's, 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 he's a prophet who want the interest of the Church of Nigeria at heart. So I want to pray for the federal government that God should preserve our new president, preserve the vice president, God should preserve our Senate president, uh, uh, Senator, uh, Senator uh, Akba, Goswin Akbabio, God should preserve all the top leaders in Nigeria. The church is preserved. No church will fall victim of the evil ones. I decree that the hand of God will rest upon you that is going to watch this video. When men are saying they say cast it down, to you and your household, there shall be a lifting up. It is well with you. The Lord keep you and shine his light upon you in Jesus' name. My name is Remer, Prophet Elijah Bamidele Eluholo. God bless. So, beloved, I believe we heard what Prophet Elijah Bamidele Eluholo has to say concerning Nigeria, concerning President Bola Amertinibu, Ibo, and Mazi Landikalu, and also a lot of politicians and the body of christ this video is a whole lot and i just want to break it into sessions with you one thing i want you to know is that this platform i bring prophecies of things that are about to happen in nigeria and also what the servant of god has said concerning what god has shared with you so please do it by subscribing if you have not subscribed already and if you're a returning subscriber i want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you thank you for always tuning in and thank you for always watching my videos. God bless you as you do that all the time. So guys, let's get into this video. Um, Prophet Elijah Bamidili said a lot of things in this video. And the one that got me actually, he says that we Christians, we should pray, we should come out in number and actually intercede for President um, Bola Ahmed Tinibu. That he is the savior of Christianity raised in Nigeria. Because if anything should actually happen or go wrong... Or something to happen that he's been removed from that seat by six feet below and then somebody takes over you know democracy you know the law of nigeria you're not a baby and you're not new to the tra tradition and custom you remember what happened to yaradua and then um president Billy good luck jonathan took over from him it seems like if the same thing happened to president bola ahmed Chinibu, and this particular person is going to sit there and he says that we are not just going to see shaggy banza but shaggy promise on another level levels of promise that is what we are going to see so we should pray so that nothing happens to president bola american but we should pray for his health and we should pray that god should give him sign man some people can be healthy but upstairs there their mind is not straightforward it's frustrating like to they are saying this they are saying that you understand and with him being so advanced in age probably there are a lot of things that he cannot actually uh, comprehend if you understand what i mean but we should pray for him for not just good health alone but also for sign sound mind that be sound mind i don't know so that is what we need to actually pray for president bola ahmed Tinibu because a lot is actually happening that we don't know and for him when god wants to reveal something to him it takes him to the mountain and this is what god has actually revealed to him so if you're a nigerian out there and you feel like okay oh hey let him go he's not the will of god for us he's not this he he, he bought his way into the he's there a year and a year and some month right now a year five months almost so the best thing we can do is to pray to god almighty that let nigeria be safe be sound until the next election coming up in 2027 and then another thing he talks about was that we should pray for mazin nandikalu because 
so that the president can actually set him free. And like I said in my previous video that I did, that he also said the same thing. And God still told him to go to the mountain. He wants to speak to him. And when he went, God also spoke to him concerning Mazin Nandikalu case again. It was kind of a bit of victory when Mazin Nandikalu said, there is no court in Nigeria that can try him and which i love so much about him his level of confidence and all that because for me oh see one thing is for you to know your left hand and your left leg some people don't know because they feel like they are both left left it's if you understand what i mean but the truth is that this man know what he's fighting for and he knows his human rights so there are a lot of things i feel like the nigerian government are overdoing just imagine the chief justice that is actually handling his case few weeks to his court hearing she said that she quits she's dropping like she does not want to be like a whole lot of things retirement by force by fire so that should tell you and a lot of prophecies have been dropping that Mazen and the Kalu case is beyond the federal government of Nigeria because there are some state Igbo politicians and individuals that feel like okay we don't want out of Nigeria and if the truth is that you release Mazin and the Kalu, a lot of things is going to go sour for us. A lot of things is going to go out of hand for us and things are not going to be balanced or stable for us to be able to run our political race in Nigeria if he should come out because he is going to mobilize a lot of people. Just imagine when he is not there for the past four years going to five years and people are still loyal to him anything they are doing they are doing in his name so just imagine that if this particular person is out there he's going to actually stop our political ambition so mr president please can you help us keep him there we don't want him out right now and i feel like that is the main reason why this man is still locked up there but let's pray for god's intervention like prophet elijah said that he saw a gathering in a very big conference hall when they were agitating and between the president um, Bola Chinibu, and some Igbo politicians and governors but this gathering actually got scattered so that began i began to reason could it be that this man is still going to be kept in prison or his case is going to be adjourned to january of next year or what what is going to happen at the end of the day? Eh, me, I'm tired, though, honestly. If you're not tired, me, I'm tired. See, anybody that you feel like you don't like, the best thing to do is to let that person go. They say majority carries the vote. Majorities of the evils want out of Nigeria. Because when you ask an evil person, whether within Nigeria or outside Nigeria, they tell you I'm a Biafran. Because I've had one encounter like that. Someone say he's a Biafran, which I know um that he's Igbo when he started speaking Igbo to me i and i say that ah, i'm on a Igbo you still be now uh, you freedom never come more so patience 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 you understand when the freedom comes you don't need to actually tell who tell someone who you are automatically when they hear you're an Igbo they know what it means so if you understand that so he was smiling and all those things giggling at that point and i say that is just the truth exercise patience whatever you're looking for or you're seeking for is going to come to you on a platter of gold you understand they say the patient dog eats the fattest bone so exercise a little bit of patience you're almost at the finish line so you cannot give up neither lose guard so that is what he said and that got me thinking that will Mazi Nandikalu still be locked up there or he will be set free at the end of the day but we all pray that he should be set free he should be released at the end of the day so that a lot of things can go peacefully between various communities in the east because so set agitating that they don't want to be afraid so much saying they want and so on. anyone that comes they follow they don't care they don't belong here they don't belong here anyone that wants to happen let it happen so and a lot of people are losing their life on daily basis weekly basis monthly basis which is very bad communities are fighting against communities 
brothers are fighting against brothers because they feel like who you you are supporting me i'm not supporting that person at the end of the day so i will not bend to your rules and regulation or i will not dance to your tune so please let's love one another and let's love lead among ourselves then another thing he talks about was hardship that tinibu is going oh ma, that one dear you don't sit well with my ear but who am i to object the voice of god over my nation nigeria there's something he says that <laughs> Tinibu is going to put things in place and we should forget there will be no hardship. And I say this one that we are going through, it is what? What are we going through? What are we seeing? If this one is not extra uh, shaggy on another level. Because what we are seeing today, some people say that we bought it upon ourselves. But we are not part of those people that collected 10,000 or 2,000 naira with one packet of mangi just to go and give their vote to whoever they want to give their vote to. But still, we are in democracy and it's freedom of speech, movement, and action. You can choose whoever you want to cast your vote to. You can choose whoever you want to give your vote to if you believe that that person can actually do something. But in the case of this our Nigeria as it stands right now. Or more, even the people where <laughs> they are spoken right now, they are no longer at spoken because it's hitting everybody back and front. It's hitting everybody back well. So that is just what I want to share with you guys this afternoon. And please do wait to subscribe. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly pause this video at this point. Subscribe, comment, like, share. And also don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to get notified so that whenever I upload a new video, video you'll be the first to be notified and please do where to share this video on all social media platforms i leave a comment and a word of advice at the comment section below and i want to say please help me share see sharing is something that will never get tired of doing on this channel it's good it's necessary for us to share so that it will get to the right people and it's going make sure that this video get to the main person that is supposed to get at the end of the day let's do networking sharing you understand someone that is consigned to get it by your sharing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.